Previously on Sweet Rolls. The Lord of Gold has a standing bet that if anyone can gain access to his treasury, that person will become the next Lord of Gold. Yes, and I've but then the fates are so fickle that they landed in my lap. The very man who will earn me a seat in the Council of the Seven Lords. I'm sure you could figure out a way to get the key. I am a champion at the Golden Towers in the Arena of Blood. Yes. Are you going to try uh, the Blood Arena? He might. Do you have any tips for him? Don't die. And Isn't... good core muscles. Very important. Hmm. The Lord usually goes here and buys something and we just make him a couple of more of them. I mean, he's kind of a trendsetter, really. Don't talk to strangers. There's uh, someone in another alley like, come here, I'll show you the way. So I your know. name is... Elaine. So, uh, how can the Free League help you? Welcome back everyone to uh, Sweet Rolls. We're playing Dungeons and & Dragons. And in the last session, we uh, sort of formulated a plan for saving the as of yet unnamed uh, leader of the Free Leagues present in the city of uh, Sable Basin Keep. Yes from the clutches of the evil Heredition Republic. Yes. Who are also chasing after... Me. Catherine, exactly. Yes. Offering a substantial reward for his capture or the retrieval of his corpse. Ah, uh, you know, no good deeds. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, uh, Unger. Yes. Just a quick thought. You are the one of us who knows this place... Best. I've been here one time for half a day, then I ran away. So yes, I've been here before. Yes. What do you wish to know? My statement still stands. You should do character voices. <laughs> All right. No. What do you want to do? Anyone know? No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Do that. <laughs> no, it hurts. Do it. <laughs> it hurts my soul. No, okay. Well, there's one thing you might know, even though you've only been here once. Out of all the captains that frequent this place, which would you say is the most prone to violence? Well, when I was here five or seven years ago, for the first and only time, having been on the single ship for all the rest of the time, never seen another captain that we haven't plundered or killed, I would say I have no idea. <laughs> You were with pirates. Pirates talk about Buccaneers, other pirates. Privateers. Pirates is such a such a loose category of people. Well, category. No. Elaine. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm in the same no room way. as he All is. Right. Right. No well, you heard it. Yeah. Fair enough. It should be something I possibly have heard in a tavern or something. Yes. 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 The fiercest, the wildest yes. pirate captain, aside from the seven kings or lords, then I assume. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so. Well, I mean... Uh, investigation, history, intelligence, well, well, should I roll anything just... Oh yeah, I seem to remember that thing. And we well, the uh, Captain Long John is known for essentially uh, peeling off the skin of people's legs and uh, thighs and hanging them uh, to dry. Let's go to him, whatever we do. No, no, I wasn't thinking we go to him. I was thinking somebody planned the idea that he's keeping me hidden. Uh, That's so not a bad idea. I'm guessing he wouldn't be too happy to show his hidden quarters or, well, his well, loot. Well, he, he is absolutely, I mean, he. I don't know if he has a, uh, that would be on his ship. Is he in harbor now? Yeah, I suppose he is. We might need to listen as to whether he's here in the harbor or not. But I don't suppose he'd like to have soldiers on his ship, no. Yeah. So if we were to convince them that I'm on his ship, he wouldn't. He would put up a fight if they try to oh, yes, force yes. their way um, in. I'm quite sure he'd be very upset with uh, this trespassing. Yeah. Might want to add a pair of uh, crocodile pants to his collection. Hmm. Doesn't sound bad to me. Any input? Uh, I think we should uh, not get that psychopath involved because we don't really need to. Have oh, he is a psychopath. Yes, he is. Well, he's not a nice guy anyway. So why, why would we want to involve him at all? 
because that would well cause quite a big distraction, I believe. Lady Astra, have you uh, considered the situation any? <clears throat> this is an odd situation. <laughs> of course. I'm used to castles. I'm used to books and magic. Cleaving I'm used to walking through yes. town. I'm not used to this slum of a pirate um, harbor. Yes. I suppose. Um, I would say we we could we keep that <coughs> in the think tank and perhaps use it later. But I really would like to not get in the crosshairs of a guy who peels the skin out of pe- of people just because. Well, he doesn't know that we spread that rumor. Well, you're not... You're easy to recognize, so... Yeah. She and uh, you two in my company will... Listen, this is they a pirate be... city. If we start spreading a rumor... Well, you are the genius, Geffrin, so... All right. <laughs> you are the genius. You have 18 in intelligence. Yes. Should I roll f- to see if it's a good idea or not? No. No. You have to decide that. Yes. If we can get the Dragonborns it's to not a bad idea. try to get on his ship, then that's a win in itself. I mean, all we got is a... A map with pieces where the walls can be broken down by getting in a simple sledgehammer? I still have to get there, though. It's just two buildings down, and you have yeah. the, you have the cape with the hood. And we might go. We might have uh, gotten some face paint. I don't see how this is still a better idea than the one I just presented. <laughs> well, you got to make a choice. Can, can't we just try and just walk down to the walls and see if we can just break through them? Well, you'll have to do that without me, then, because... How would we be able to do the other thing that you were suggesting? Would that also be without you? Yeah. We want you with us. You're Gefrin, you're our friend. Why don't we put it to a vote, this three of you? All right. right. I go for wall breaking with Gefrin at this current time. My plan time doesn't now. exclude the wall breaking. You're breaking my balls here. Come on. Yes. Listen, if we can get the Dragonborn, or at least some of them, to start picking a fight with the most brutal, violent captain in the town, that will give us some better chances of getting in unnoticed, or... Are we back in the cellar? Yes, yes, we are. Can't some of you guys start a rumor that he's with that pirate captain? Yeah, of course we can. Because you might not get e- as easily recognized as Yes, of as course. We'll, we'll spread that rumor right away, boys. And they, they scatter like cockroaches. Yeah, so let's go to the wall now and see w- what we can do. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you have scouts that could or maybe... Or actually, they don't until you tell us that we have to do that. They don't just automa- automatically run away. But I'm yeah. guessing yeah. that's your, your vote. So yes, then, then they yes, scatter like cockroaches and do it because there's two against one. So you spread the rumor, let's go to the wall. Well, maybe we, we ca- wait until we see that they've caught the bait. Well, that could well, take days. Weeks, even. I mean, it's, it's a rumor. We can't it's not notice message. it from here anyway. If we need they, to go out. They have scouts. They're like, what were half a dozen? Yeah, I mean, what is this cowardice? Well, they're about half a dozen, yeah. Yeah, so they're... I it's called smarts. Well, I'm a military tactician as well. All right, I got uh, slam dunked. <laughs> yes. Thing is, uh, if this rumor spreads quick enough, we should be noticing troops moving down toward the harbor. And uh, okay, so I can stand up on the street and see if yeah, anything sure. happens. So you, so uh, you I'll, go I'll up. just go out, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. out on the street, not far from the cellar, because I don't want to be yes. alone. You notice. Interestingly, that there's not that many people on the streets anymore. And this is just a few minutes since the the uh, let's the big deal left the yes, cellar. Yes, and people seem to be not like th- there's not new people coming. Like it, 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 
It's um. They're emptying the street. <laughs> Paranoia kicking in. Uh, you notice, actually, you hear a lot of noise coming from the harbor area, and as you you get up on a on a kind of a slope, mm-hmm. you notice that a lot of people in this town are moving towards the ship in the harbor. We can get no better distraction. It's like it's made for us somehow. Did you Go just appear? Did you just appear behind my back? <laughs> I'm always beside you. That's creepy. Hunger. Stalls are emptying out. Stores are closing. Um, okay, I, I hurry back. Okay, people are leaving for the harbor. Now, a lot and fast. Let's go wall breaking. Yes. Okay, cover yourself up. Yeah, sure. Properly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's probably, <laughs> properly, Pro- as, probably as probably as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, we just. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. <clears throat> so you dress up, you get a handy sledgehammer, and you go wall breaking. So I this, have uh, a smaller you, sledgehammer. You, you notice. Uh, Did you the, see the streets, any of the dragonborn? Did I see any of the dragonborn? Um, no, you didn't see any. Not in front of the the, the fortress. Uh, not moving not in or yet. out. There's uh, actually there's one guard standing outside the fortress. There's one guard. Yeah. There were two before, just one guard standing. Well, you hear that's cannon a fire from, from the harbor. harbor. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Someone that's is firing violence. cannons in the harbor. They shouldn't be doing violence. Well, they are. So let's go. Hurry. And you hear the familiar sound of people grappling above you. Above? Well, yes. Well, and that's traversing the city. Oh shit. Towards, Those towards the, the harbor guards that climb walls. The yes, the grapplers, the rappelers, the rappelers, oh, the no. la- rappelers. Uh, yes. Yeah. Moving, 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 moving. Yes. You start. Uh, it's eerily quiet now. You hear a few dogs barking and scuttling of rats, but there's not much else going on in this part of town My right now. My ambush sense is tingling. I won't deny I'm a bit scared right now. Well, if you die, you just... You want to uh, you wanna roll insight? Shut up. Everyone, yeah, roll sure. insight. Or perception? Uh, yeah, yes, I suppose perception, because there is no s- skill called insight. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, it's insight. Insight. You have to roll insight. Oh, yeah. It's wisdom. Four. Four, okay. And derp, five. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. What was the second rule of the city? Religion? Well, okay, the first rule, then. Don't start five. No... Don't disrupt the trade in the city. Someone disrupted the trade. Yes. It would seem that way. Yeah. And think, violence. So that's two. Well, yeah. Violence isn't actually a, a rule in the city. New. Oh, well. To the walls. So you head, you head to the castle. You move through the shadows. Why don't you... Uh, as you approach, why don't you roll a stealth with uh, advantage? Stealth, of course. Dexterity modifier. With advantage, you see. Means you get rolled twice. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. It's either a 2 or a 16. 17. Okay. Well, 12. 12. Yes, plus, well, you. you uh, plus your dex. Yeah, plus dex modifier. Yeah. 14. Yes, 12. You, you make your way into the alley fairly easy. The guard seems very upset that he's left there to guard on his own, so he's busy grumbling to himself and. Uh, Looking over at the harbor, trying to get a view. This this uh, keep is on the hill. It was like going up towards this uh, this hill. It's a very rundown old castle. It has the uh, banners of the uh, Heredition Republic hanging from it, uh, in the multiple colors of the uh, chromatic dragonborns, hmm. with the symbol of the Republic, which is an emblazoned uh, dragonborn head, which is like in profile. It's very sty- uh, stylized. Yeah, we hate them, but they look so good. <laughs> fascists tend to... No fashion. Yes. Fashion, fascists. Yes. Uh, and you approach one of the sections of the wall, and it is re- in a really bad shape. Um, it okay. looks to be an old stairwell that sort of like just crumbled on itself. But to take care of the guard, Astra, you can make people fall asleep, right? That's not a bad idea. I, I could. You could. I could. Should I try it? 
why not? Yeah, sure. It's okay. a very bloodless, quick, efficient, easy, smart way to... And then you can slit his throat. No. I no. didn't say anything, and my brother is not here. No, that was someone <laughs> but, else. Oh, that was... Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. some small, tiny voice. That's a small, tiny voice saying that to us. That, that's, that's my tiny vo- voice. Okay. You're, n- you're not hearing it. It sounded almost like cleave the meat. No. Shh. I uh, never get any fun. Okay. Not saving your hmm? Okay, so I, you go around and I go to the guard then. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it... Do the you have to be within sight and earshot? What does it say on the spell? Ma- 90 feet. Well, and that's, that's within the distance. Uh, does it require? Uh, do you see the target? I suppose it would. Yeah. Oh, there's so many dragons in this book. Does he have to see I'm not you? looking at dragons. Uh, no. Plot twist, what, what they don't it? sleep. <laughs> They're oh, unable. <laughs> yes. You need to roll. You get a certain amount of hit die that you can sleep, right? Yeah. Yes. So I you roll those, and if, if, if you that is more than his, his hit, hit points, points, he falls asleep. Yes. Unless he passes uh, something. Yes. Um, no, actually, I don't think you get to roll if you pass it or not, if it's over your health points. May I borrow two more D8? You're not using mine. I have one. Which one is that? That one. That one. Nope, that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm blind. Sleight of hand. <laughs> um, the total is how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Yes, uh, so roll it. Five, eight, sixteen, um, twenty-four, thirty. He goes. Is there a <laughs> saving the ground. we can make? I, I'm really sorry. I, I rolled a d10. Sorry. Uh-huh. Aha. He goes up. Well, what did the d10 uh, result in? If it's below 8. Count the rest oh. of the dice. You said 30, so. Um. That's 23, so that was... Seven. 7. So that's still valid. And yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's enough. It's enough. <laughs> he uh, he <laughs> gets up, <laughs> uh, falls asleep um, again. Is the rule broken? No. <laughs> Does he get a saving throw or something like that? <clears throat> we'll keep him. <laughs> he has a tiny, silly little hat on his head. Oh, they what? are snake-like. So. Oh, wow. Why do I roll yes, to point. punch the wall? You. I um, you, you can literally sneak through the front door now. It's like the only guard is sleeping. Um, and we could use you the have fragile to sit, walls you have as to have escape the microphone. Yeah. 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 If we need to, yes. Uh, okay, that so sounds better. It, it just falls asleep until someone stirs it. Um, stirs he falls, it or hits his head and wakes up. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the spell the is rules. useless. Damn you. <laughs> you have to put pillows beneath him. No, um, he falls asleep. Mm. Well, let's sneak past. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's. So you, you, you sneak in through the front door then? Yes. 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 Sorry I gave you that piece of advice, because now you're all dead. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, damn you, get you, uh, of Gygax. You sneak inside. <laughs> Channeling the Gygaxian murder killed today. Uh, and you find yourself in the uh, antechamber, I believe it's called. Or the entrance. Or, or the, the entrance. Or, or the hall. No, it's, it's, just, it's a huge... Uh, Ah, the antechamber where guards used to congregate. <laughs> oh yes, yes, you see plenty of guards. No, it's the the fortress seemed to be almost completely abandoned. There's some torches burning in uh, in uh, uh, sconces. Sconces. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And uh, there seems to have been some general cleaning up done. Uh, a lot of the um, rubble is lying in in corners. Uh, there's been some masonry done to some of the walls to reinforce and repair them. There's some wooden furniture. Um, you you recognize sloppy work, Gatherin. Mm. Mm-hmm. Of course, they're green dragonborns. <laughs> are, are there piles of refuge in the corner too? 
No, no, no. It's it's just pretty clean, but it's not. They it's eat not the garbage. <laughs> it's not disgusting up creatures. To, uh, snuff. Okay, so do do exactly, we yeah. do we hear anyone? Do we see anyone? No, no. It's it's uh, perfectly quiet in here. Do we know where to go? I was just thinking that. Right. But I'm Is thinking there... the league wouldn't have much of an idea either. All right. I no. sneak up to each yeah. and every door, feel if they're unlocked or locked, and I. Mm -hmm. Sneak a glance inside all of the doors I can open. Okay, uh, all of you roll investigation. And that's going to be how efficiently you find this room. Is that a 20 or...? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. 14. 14. 17. 17. Do I add something? Intelligence or perhaps... Uh, investigation is intelligence. Okay, so uh, 11, I guess. 11. All right. Well, it doesn't take long. You kind of come to the conclusion that uh, it's in this basement that he's being stored. So you head downstairs. Yes. Carefully. Go through a couple of reinforced doors. And Asta, how long does that spell last? Last. Until he's woken. Until he's woken. All right. Which could be any time. That's a strange spell. If you cast oh, up sleep to, up on to Up to one oh, hour. Okay. Up to one hour. Oh, I think oh, okay. hide him away from the world. Like, <laughs> he's going to die all day. No, up to an hour. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. Up to an hour. So we have time is ticking. Let's go. Yes, yes. You, run, you, you scuttle downstairs quietly. Mm. Uh, do you want to roll stealth for that? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. If I need to. Lots of rolling today. That's good. Man. Well, 19, so... 18. <laughs> you, the two of you are shadows and uh, 11. Here, dun, 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 dun. 11. It's not that Okay, it's, not it's, it's loud. It's mediocre. And, yeah, it's, it's mediocre. Uh, <laughs> you scull down, down uh, uh, a spiraling staircase. Uh, it's quite far down until you reach the very moist, uh, semi cavernous uh, prison cells. All right. Where you see a bruised and bloodied old man hunched over in a chair unconscious at the moment and the locked door in front of him you're oh, watching okay. his back right does he wear like, the like the door is not between you and him it's behind him does he wear the livery of the league yes this is the man this is the man I is the door locked uh, do you uh, sneak up to and check it is there guards around there's no guards in the room then I go up to the door confident that nothing is wrong and you try the door? Yes. Is it open? Um, no, it's not. It's locked. Right. Enclosed. Roll uh, stealth. Oh no. Just him or? Just him. 11. Did you hear that? You hear a voice inside. Let's go check it out. Is there a table? There is a table. I hide under it. <laughs> you hide under the table. What? The um, <sighs> hide. Go hide. People come in. Hide in the shadows the door or opens. something. Three guards step outside. And would you believe it? It's the same guards you met in the tavern. Cover your face. Roll initiative. Yes. They scramble for their weapons. Oh, fuck. Natural one, so <laughs> two. Uh, can I just have the pen? Thank you. Um... So, yes, how much? Anyone over 20? No. Okay, anyone 20 to 15? So 17. 17, so... Five. Uh, hey. Let's keep... God damn it, you two. <laughs> Me? Uh, uh, how do I the move? <laughs> That's like not not good work today. That's just 17, and you got five. Yeah. Two. Five and two, so Catherine... Five and Bunga. Two. Without my brother, I'm not. The guards much. go first. This and could uh, have been avoided. They are we similarly try. equipped with swords. Um, with holes? Yes, with holes in them. One uh, one of them takes aim at. Uh, it's like, oh, it's Catherine! Get him! And. Uh, painted your face, man. Should have painted your face. <laughs> not all the pride and two of them fire me. at Catherine. What's your armor? 18? Yes. Let's see here. Uh, where is the... Uh, and I haven't healed since last, one right? One hits, mm -hmm. and the other one crits. Um, 
Right. And that was... Uh, I blame all of this on you. <laughs> I blame Zoidberg. Why? It's your backstory killing you. Uh, 11 <laughs> damage and... Uh, nine, 20 damage. Oh, cool. Was How... That that's altogether 20 damage. Yes. So not 11 and 20, but... I'm um, not dead. No, no, okay. Eight. Okay, you're <laughs> not eight. And the third Just one the uh, launches itself at you, Astra, with his sword and swings away. Rude. Rude. And you don't have 19 in armor class, so I presume... <laughs> no. No. So that's going to be... Uh, 12 of damage. damage. Oh! He just hacks his sword into your shoulders, like, uh, I, GET HIM! I, I kind of look, you know, half dead. Yeah. Already. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Half part, the human part, the devil part. She's not two-faced. She's not split in two. Um, they cause some pretty severe damage. Two of the bullets lodges itself in your chest again, Gethryn. And, oh, it smarts. Um, and Astra, you have barely time enough to react when one of them just lunges forward and slashes at you and just sinks it into your arm and you can feel it scrape against the bone in your arm. Oh. Uh, it oh. draws quite a bit of blood. And now it is Astra's turn. <laughs> Fire in the hole. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. <laughs> they are dragons. They're green dragons, okay? Well, dragons burn. I hope so. I can burn them. I hope. We'll try. <clears throat> Come on then. Okay. Um, that's... I use Firebolt mm -hmm. on the one that cut me. Okay. Oh. Ten. Ten? <laughs> That's against... Uh, armor class, I guess. Armor class. Are you, are you sure? Is that how it works? Alright. Well, no, I, that's I, I'm not sure because it doesn't say on the... Isn't that a saving throw then? Read the instructions uh, no, for the spell. If it's, if it's arranged... Bolt, it's arranged just as right. AC. Okay, no, that's a miss. On a hit, the target takes fire damage. Yeah. Well. But on. One d10 fire damage. I, can I read it? Oh wait, I actually have the player's handbook here. Oh. Uh, no, we're gonna that's assume cool. that it's a miss, though. Okay, yeah. Page. Yeah, I mean, it's page. Just, um, 242. 242. 242. It's a firebolt, this right? It's all yes. your fault. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't really say, but I, I'm guessing point. armor class. It's so a fireball. Make, make a ranged spell attack against the target. Want to yeah. hit the target? Take. Yeah, yeah, ranged. So that's uh, your dex uh, plus. No, no, it's a ranged. No. She has what is it? What is spell? You are what wizard? Yes. Intelligence. So. Yeah, that's my spell attack and proficiency. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, five. So okay. I'm so okay. Yeah. No, that's a miss. You uh, I mean, understandably kind of uh, uh, botch that I couldn't throw. really use both of my arms. No, 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 you had a sword in your arm, so the fireball just goes fizzling uh, against the wall. It just disperses into uh, arcane magic. Yeah. Uh, up next is Gethryn. You're bleeding, buddy. Well, in the words of the wise uh, Jesse Ventura, I don't have time to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right, what do you do? Do you um, duck? And cover. Duck? No. Uh, let's see here. You're Did better I have than a them. Get them. Did I have a shield? Uh, yes. You have a shield and a sword, yeah? Uh, single hand slash. I have the shield and one handed mm -hmm. sword, so. Yeah, you hold that to hit. Chop away. Chop chop. It's a uh, d8 then. No, first you have to hit. D20. No, okay. And 14 plus. Yeah, that's a hit. You have like plus 8. Mm, plus yeah. 7, but yeah, you hit. That's a hit. Now it's a d8 plus 7. <sighs> hit them. That one, Which yeah. one hit them is the, this no. one? Yeah. 7. So 14 damage. Thank you. Yeah. He hurts. Doesn't kill him, I'm guessing. No, it does not. But uh, he's hurting. Hurting for squirting. Uh, and do you move or... Is... Oh, you have action surge. You can do another attack. If you wish it. No, you, you can do it every turn. Can't you? And once or twice per day. Oh, yeah, yeah. And well, it's in the player's book. So. Yeah. You can uh, look that up in the player's book. 
if you want. And while you're doing that, Unger gets to act anyway, and then we'll get back to you if you get another, if you want to do another action. From yeah. underneath the table, behind everyone, a person sneaks out and closes the door behind you. How him. did you know? <laughs> well, no. I had a feeling. It's a slight mumbling of gnomish words, and then I use Scorching Ray. Three separate beams of fire streaks out, one to each of the dragonborn of green color. Mm -hmm. The first one, I, oh, it's a natural 20. <laughs> right. So I'm just going to roll uh, six, four d6s of fire damage to the asshole. Uh, Astra guy, so 14 damage to yeah. him. Okay. Uh, and he's on fire. Yep, oh, on fire. Second guy, 11 plus 5, 16 to it. Was this the guy? Yeah, one of the... Okay. First the one guy and then the other guy. So the guy you attacked that attacked, um, uh, Gethryn, let's see here. He just... Oh, no, I, 16 to hit. Oh, to hit, okay. I am drawing damage. Okay, never mind, you, you hit him, you hit him. All right, but the damage, oh, 6 plus 1, uh, 7? Seven. And he's on he fire. he is on fire, but he's not dead yet. You're not dead yet. All right. Uh, but he you. is on fire. He's hurting. Well, How does being on fire work again? I don't know. Right. Well, the third beam is. Well, I already preempted it, so mm -hmm. it's on the last guy. It's on the last guy. Yeah. Okay. And nineteen plus. That's a hit. Stuff. Yeah. Six plus ten damage. And ten he damage is on fire. Yeah. Burn dragon bit his. What is being fired? Uh, I'm, I'm uh, if you don't use an action to mm -hmm. put it out, you take one d6 of fire damage mm -hmm. each turn you okay. burn. Okay. So if they want to do something next time, that is either drop they, rolling. Yeah, if they don't drop a roll and do something to take out a fire, yeah, they take more damage. Uh huh. But the action surge. Action surge once in between a short or long rest. Mm -hmm. So okay. you have one use of that. Yes. Well, that means you can make a whole. They can make another attack. Yeah, and in the end, I creep down back underneath the table <laughs> and try to keep myself Clever. warm, cozy, and hidden. Clever girl. So. Clever or cowardice? <laughs> no. Yeah, let's hit him again. Mm -hmm. First, it's someone else, I think. Oh, well, he's doing action search. So. You're doing action search. Yeah. All right. Chop him we're, down. We're trying to get out of this or alive. Same, uh, same guy. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's nice. Dead. 19. Okay, so roll damage. That uh, one, yeah. Plus 7. Oh, he's dead. What was that? 6. Uh, Fourth and attack. Yes. You. Uh, would you like to describe how he dies? Because he dies. Well... <laughs> more or less, the sword severs his spine around the shoulder blades. So... Head goes a fly. Yeah, head plus shoulder and arm. Oh, damn. So, uh, my aim is a bit off being so damaged, so I cut it from neck to ah, armpit. Okay, yeah, yeah, you cut through their armor like paper, and uh, he just... And, and collapses in a spurt of blood. Yes. To the ground. Uh, the other two look uh, horrified. They look hot. <laughs> that too. They're on fire. Um, and with that, it's their turn again to act. And uh, would you believe it? They're putting out the fire and they're like, we give up. Please don't kill us. They dropped their weapons. You're after him, right? Just take him a go. We I, won't tell anyone you were here. I said, Ooh. why are you looking at me? All right, you do. Into That's the cell. Where, we, where the guy sat, we bring him out mm -hmm. and switch places, and they're inside. And like, all right, Esther, you can burn him. I'm not going to burn them. Burn them alive. Crispy, crispy lizard. Okay, shut up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> get me what he wants so, to do. <clears throat> no, see. It's up to you. But, uh, open the cell and get the, the old man out. No, yeah, we've done so. Which switch okay. places? Man is out, they are inside, they lock the close cell, but they're witnesses. <laughs> well, I don't, I, I don't, don't want to kill people who just has given up. No, I don't have any quarrel with them. They are following orders. They'll probably but, kill us but later, uh, but let's uh, put a mal mouth. Um, you go into. They the have teeth, sharp teeth. A gag is useless. 
Unless, no. Can't we lock them inside the room they, they were in? Already done so. They are locked inside a cell door. Or yeah. a cell. Let's just at least Let's tie them up and, I mean, does, don't they have like a nozzle muscle. so you can tie something we around? Tie them down and tie their mouths up and throw them into the cell, lock it really good. And before we leave, I whisper to them, this is the mercy of the Geoffrey. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> they they glance over at their very dead comrade and go like, yeah, okay. Do we have cash? <laughs> they have a few coins. We don't yes. have time okay. for this. Hurry up. While you're tying them up, I am robbing them of cash. Just think. All right. You get um, a few coins. Where's the random treasure table? Oh, okay. oh yes. Magic swords. Finally, I get to roll on this table. Fun, fun, fun. Yes, let's see what they have. Uh, let's see here. Damn, I can't throw another animal inside with them. That would be so late. <laughs> get out of like, a, a, wild, a wild boar. <laughs> right. He's okay. back from his trip in the... Stop messing up about. We have we had an hour. All right, in the let's see here. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Let's roll the 100. Okay. Uh, so you find... Yeah, it's three times four. You find um, three times five. You find uh, what the fuck? Okay, you find a bunch of items. You get you, you pick up like small trinkets and 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 uh, knickknacks and, and like um, turbans. <laughs> well, like. Uh, Horns cut off heads and stuff like that uh, from campaigns worth about 125 gold pieces. What? Yes, a and uh, knickknacks about 125 gold. Yes, and let's see here, table F. Weird. Random tables, people. These guys, you kill a rat, chainmail can pop you out. You find. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see here. That's why you go hunting rats, by the way. Mm. They can poop oh. on her. Let's see. Here. You find yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's change uh, the story. What the fuck? You could just decide something. No, 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 no. I want to. I want to roll this. I'm going right, to cut up. You muscle. want to see what the system tells yes, us to do? Yes. Yes. Okay. Unge, uh, do you think you could? Could you fix this, my arm, later? And you know those holes sticking into uh, you his find chest. a you yeah. find a pair of lenses, like glasses. Uh, glasses. Yeah, in the in pocket, like. No. Mm -hmm. It gets very upset when you take them out. Mine. Claire, <laughs> dag your set. All right, wait. I you know I I could murder you, mm -mm. but Geoffrey told me not to. So this mm -hmm. is instead mm -hmm. of murdering mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. I think it, it's okay if you're right. You don't wanna, you don't wanna back. Unger, mm -hmm. stop mm -hmm. messing with them. I pull off my pants and get back. Wait, wait, what? that, wait, I. <laughs> what the? You what? No. What is canon? All right. You said it. It happened. <laughs> you pull up your pants. Do, do not. They look. They look please. very. I'm really gonna <laughs> rob you now. <laughs> <laughs> they look very I, I, relieved. I, I always rob in my underwear, don't you? I can't pick I pockets turn to with the pants. I turned to them and just, I'm so sorry. No pockets, no pickpocketing. Mm. <laughs> they, uh, they seem at peace with the situation, i.e. they're not murdered. Um, so, um, <clears throat> And they don't have gnome ding-dong in their face anymore. <laughs> nope. That was not what I. Oh. Well, you said you it. You said yeah, it. I, it happened. I said wrong. Um, if yeah. I'm gonna punish Astro for what she says, I need to punish you too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. Uh, you actually hear very faintly voices from upstairs. No. Are we close to any of the weak walls? Fairly. You you could probably avoid the main entrance, but you gotta move. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. The old man is unconscious, by the way. And well, I can carry him. In. Yeah. Just tear him out from the chair like the ropes just break and you put yeah. him on your shoulder basically he weighs nothing right. poor guy you've taken dumps just heavier than this when we've taken <laughs> a bit, bit of steps beyond them I I slap my hands on both of these guys and do a 
slight healing on both of them. On their thighs, like... <laughs> hey, hey, guys, <laughs> got some glasses! <laughs> By the way, Alstra, you get 70 points back. How many? Three, seven. Seven, you get thank nine. you. But then, again, I see you're re- still bleeding badly, mm. so I'll just burn another spell on that thing and give you some more. Oh, six more back. Nice. So You uh, feel, feel your back. wounds mend mm. through uh, amazing spiritual energy. Yeah. It is, it's still That's sore and it's still open, but yeah, it's, it's better. It's stopped bleeding mm. and it mm. seems to be slowly making a scab. Yeah. Right, great. You start making your Point way us out. to the closest yes. weak wall. And my recommendation is that you roll stealth as you try to make your way out. And Gethryn, you are at a <gasps> disadvantage. Twice. So twice. you roll another oh. and you pick the lower one. So 10 or... What? Yeah, that's the lower one. Bitch. Three. Okay, so uh, the man <laughs> is keeping well, you down. Yes, the man is keeping you down. He's very heavy. So uh, thank you guys. I actually rolled really good, but that does not matter because you two bitches. Are <laughs> Essentially, like you start sneaking out the corridor. His feet are dragging on the wall as you carry him. It's like, <laughs> which would have been a problem if Astra didn't just accidentally stub her toe and yelled out like motherfuckers, and you hear nothing. For three seconds. And That's then you hear shing. Lots of people drawing blades. Yes, Lots of people. We should get out of here. We should find the weak walls and get out of here. Run. Stop right there! <coughs> it's Let Catherine! Him. Get him! Close the door in front of us so we're down in the cell. <coughs> Bar that shit because there's the, there are some weak walls. No, no, no. You were out of the cellar. Oh. You were on your way yeah. out. So there's. Okay, I mean, you're, you're in a T section. You're essentially in a T section right now. You just came up from the basement. Right. So you can go left and right. And on your left, there's like a large amount of Dragonborn running. Run around. right! I can't run fast, you bitch! I'm gonna die! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can do whatever that. I can do, yeah. I'm trying to help. Yeah. Also run and. So you're like pushing him. Yeah. All like right, all right, I'm running as fast as I can, but that is. Can't you set fire to the corridor or something? Well, I don't know if I that turn that. around and do burning hands. All right, you uh, you do that and uh, roll. Yeah. Uh, actually, they roll a something. What? Uh. They roll a dex saving throw, and if gonna roll uh, a collected dex save here. And it. Uh, twelve. Twelve. So her spell casting ability is what? better than that. So they take the full three d six. Fire damage. Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you. I, I written it down. Actually. Thank you. Okay. Um, not enough to kill them. You scorch them, however. They yelp in pain. And so tapestries hanging on the wall just <laughs> go up in flames. It buys us some so time. You know, yes. But I do the same thing. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Yes. I also use the same spell in the same way. So you have to roll again for them. Burning hands. Oh, you have oh, to roll. Nine. You have to. Oh, yeah, no, have to roll dex dex save. Uh, well, no, that's not a pass. So another three. Oh yeah, six. yeah you, you can roll. Sorry. Six plus five plus three, so fourteen. Yeah. Uh, there, there's an inferno. Like the temperature in this corridor just. <laughs> I learned from the best. And uh, they retreat, <laughs> screaming in pain and panic. As the fire, well, stone can catch fire at a certain Perfect. point. That's marvelous, you little copycat. Uh, your collective amount <laughs> of fire has, like, the, everything is Get on in. fire. I'm sorry, but you're going to be famous for being a real big enemy right now. So, let's move. You run, head run. right, absolutely I'm still undisturbed. I'm waiting the, uh, for directions to the closest yeah. exit. You arrive at one of the collapsed uh, stairwells, and there's just basically some minor break. <coughs> there's like equipment lying around to fix the wall. It's a work in progress. You tap it with your foot, and it just collapses, and you're out in the open, cold, cold soothing air uh, of the uh, of the city of Sable Basin Keep. Okay. Let's move. Closest. There's Hurry. a lot of back smoke alley. behind no, you. The, yeah. the way we came, just back there. We're gonna drop off. Yeah, that but the, you hear the you sneakiest hear way back to the cellar. Faint summer. screams as you exit the uh, <laughs> the, the house, and you realize that uh, the two yeah, living I know, I just realized are burning alive <laughs> in the in the basement. So. Oh wait, we burned. Actually, probably not. It's a cold, damp cellar, so who knows? It might be alive. 
Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, might be. The smoke yeah. might suffocate him slowly. <laughs> if that smoke is. rises. Just like the dark yes, night. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, the fire rises. And you know, when, when an internal structure just goes burning and stones fall down. You don't have. You don't have to sound yeah. so happy about no, it. No, that's your doll. No, that's, that's you, you have uh, to make a special you, voice. You uh, disappear if it's my back doll. to the uh, to the cellar, and you hear the screams and you hear the uh, yells and orders that oh, it's on fire. They're pretty busy right now. Yeah. You also hear a lot more screams coming from the Bay Area, uh, where the ships are, and people seem to be returning. Uh, a lot of them very hurt uh, onto the squares and stuff like that. There's some people with mi missing limbs. Uh, and there's a lot of people being carried. Oh my god, it's too bad they don't allow healers here. So, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been a massacre, you could say. We've accomplished much today. <laughs> we made you more. <clears throat> I, I don't feel too good about this. Are there any still alive that know it was us? If it's any consolation, if they hadn't been greedy for all the money they could carry, uh, which was promised to them, they might not have gone down to face the most insane, <coughs> terrible, evil pirate lord currently in existence. Yes. Yeah, yeah of course, you they brought it on to the themselves. It's just a lot of no, misery to take it. in. It is. It's, it's pretty so terrible. There's children there's crying. Time. There's... Uh, uh, people whimpering in, in uh, intense, like. Oh. Let's say that. this: if you don't take any blame for the shit you've caused, I'm not taking any blame for this. Hey, would you blame a kid for doing whatever? I'm the size of a kid, you know. <laughs> that's not. That's, that's not. No logical, that's right? not. That's excuse. not logical. <laughs> you can't look down on me and say that. But yes, I can. So, so, so responsibility is completely relative to your size, then? Yeah, to my height. Okay. The taller you are, the more responsible you are. But seriously, it's, where it's did you... The, my parents taught me that. It's the staple of gnome society. Yeah, uh, guilty of never shit. mind that. Where did you learn burning hands? When? Well, in a wizardry. What, what not? We'll talk about it later. It was impressive. I have to say, it was impressive. Well, yes. You've made quite a scene. Yes. yes. We're back in the cellar, right? Oh, yes. Oh, it's Elaine the there. Yes. Uh, his name is... Ronald. <laughs> Fuck it. His, name, Donald. his name is Ronald McDougal. <laughs> no, his name is... Oh, Ronald. Ronald. What did they do to you? And he seems to be waking up. And I was like, oh, they saved me. Oh, who are they? Like, oh, they're, they're friends of ours. They're friends of ours. All right, well, you seem to have lived up to your part of the bargain, quite efficiently so. Yeah. And I uh, must say, I'm impressed with the way you uh, cast two commotions <coughs> separately. Yes. You're talented. <laughs> <laughs> I would be a little bit careful, however, as words, seem, words are spreading that the uh, lords of the city are currently on the look lookabout of where a certain Gethryn might be as he seems to have been the center of the commotion down in the harbor yeah one thing yeah about the rumors spreading is there anything about well besides Gethryn of course is it all Gethryn or is there descriptions Here we go. of it seems to me that the well I mean what we mentioned was Gethryn of course so I would assume that would be uh, what most people have noticed. Yeah, I'm thinking about the jailbreak thing. Oh, with the jailbreak. Well, I don't... That just happened. I wouldn't know about that. Uh -huh. It could be good to just put out some feelers and see if they have indicated Gethryn or Gethryn and friends. Or I would think that they're quite busy care taking care of their currently very much on fire fortress. One would hope. Okay, so I, I don't know about you, but this has been a very stressful day. I would like to rest and, to and eat a bit, maybe. Um, do we dare to go back to the Feisty Mermaid? I've already paid for rooms. Yeah, but... You have a per private room. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I mean... It is kind of nice. You are a girl. Also, thank you for noticing. Well, generally, I'm the only one 
wanted at the moment, so you could basically do what you want. But I think I should stay out of sight until we have some kind of plan. I don't want to leave you here alone, so... No. And if you come with us, we can tend to your wounds. That is what I was gonna do. Yeah, but we, we shouldn't go to the Feisty Mermaid if... Alright, League guys. Uh, we need to keep our heads down for a day or two. Do you have uh, accommodations we can borrow well, from I you? suppose we have this cellar, and we do have a few smaller ships we've uh, currently got in the harbor, in the smaller part of the harbor. Uh, so this cellar where we can hide and not move about in the city, that sounds excellent. Do you have some beds and very lockable rooms and stuff like that? He uh, nods to a couple of crates <laughs> and some <coughs> blankets. I've already paid for good room somewhere else. I'm just... Geffen, if you could... How big are the crates? <laughs> could we hide Geffen inside? <laughs> yes, actually, you could hide Geffen inside one of the crates. Geffen, I know it's beneath you and your... Perfect and the guards... Perfection! The guards will probably not be looking through people's larger containers at the moment, Especially right? Especially when it's carried by ten normal guys. They I suppose we could extend that <coughs> favor. After all, you've uh, you've more than uh, made up for your part of the bargain. Uh, by the way, this captain or man that we saved, uh, uh, Ronald. Yeah, Ronald. How's he doing health-wise? Is he like dying? Oh, he he should be he should be all right. We have some uh, we have a, 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 a healer on our payroll, as it were. A, uh, oh, druid right. from the uh, northern forests. Ooh. Uh, I mean, Geffen here is kind of really hurt. Oh, oh yes. Uh, I will. Uh, I mean, they're not here right now, but right, we could. Uh, we, could uh, <coughs> we should make haste actually to the Feisty Mermaid. It's good that witnesses know we are not in the place of trouble right now. So, I think a hell of eye getting. Let's go there and get some hell of eyes. I I want to have something to cover up the bloody mess on my <laughs> arm. Go ahead. Absolutely. Uh, they they, ha they give have you a small rat or cat or something we could pretend she sacrificed. What? What? That just an idea. Mm. Sacrifice? <laughs> that's... There's that's no the filter R -word. between your head and your mouth, is there? What is it's a wellspring of ideas. Yes. <clears throat> I just say what pops into my head. What's wrong with that? A few of them have been good. Yes. Isn't it easier to just cover it up with some fabric? We do have a lot of fabric. Fabric. <laughs> uh, quick question. Yes. The lords, uh, you mentioned that they are probably all looking for me at the moment. I would assume that the massive disruption to trade that happened as people, perhaps somewhat foolishly, attempted to board Captain Long John's ship, then being brutally murdered for, for that, and other ships being sunk in the harbor, <laughs> might not play in your favor, <coughs> as it were. Is it established that they actually blame me? Of course, now, no, 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 no. They might just take you in for questioning. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm probably safer with them than running around with potential dragonborns. I don't know, maybe. Thoughts, input? What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we hide in a crate, they help us carry you back to the Feisty Mermaid, we spend the night just recuperating and being out of the way of everyone looking. Uh, what's your idea? Uh, my idea is to uh, possibly get me to the Lord of the Tower. That way we have a way into the tower. I'm guessing that's basically where he lives as well. And the, uh, the Lord of Gold is coming tomorrow to visit the, uh, the city. He lives in the tower, yes. <coughs> yes. And we know he's going to the jewelry shop. Yeah. And I kind of want to be there to, you know, impress him with this. Bling bling. The bling, 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 bling. The old razzle dazzle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I mean... A little bit of ring, a little bit of cleavage, a bit of tail. As long as Have we you can ever known me to wear cleavage? Were, I can't see that high. So <laughs> you, wear, you wear a turtleneck? <laughs> no, I, no, I'm I quite little. Uh, my head is your belly or something. I, I never seen you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't know. 
Right. So what's the plan? I'll follow Gethryn's idea, whatever it is, because it's Gethryn. Yeah, um, Gethryn, it's your <laughs> your life on the line. <laughs> you yeah. choose. If yeah. you want to stay here, I'm going to stay here with you. Yeah, I've been in worse. Pl- I no, I have not been in, been in worse place, but I will suffer this. You will suffer the feisty mermaid alone. <laughs> no, if oh, I okay. stay, I stay. <laughs> okay. But that's an idea. <laughs> we can always light a fire to make it warm. Hmm. Question is, if we uh, try <coughs> to get me to the Lord with the intent of uh, me being brought to the tower, could also result in him just giving me over to the Dragonborns. Why would he? They're not allies. Is there a general idea of what he feels about the Republic? I think it's worse now that they try to board a ship and disrupt the harbor and trade commerce yes uh well none of the lords are particularly in favor of the republic i'd say the lord of gold uh, is probably more close to neutral after all they there are, have been plenty of nobles from the uh, republic who have spent quite a bit of gold at his uh his, at his casino Ooh. well that's the thing they probably have as much gold as they would like, and if he's inclined to take bribes... I don't think the Republic has anything the Lord of Gold actually wants or needs. I say we bet he doesn't, and let's go with that. Yeah. And uh, just another plan. If we, sometime next day or the day after that or the day after that, go to Ragnar again and taking it on that offer to come along with him to see the gladiator games. We're at level four of the tower, and from there these guys will take us to the top. So, I think we're in. Yeah. We can do this. <coughs> and It'll if only take me sleeping on a cold, Ow. dirty stone floor. For one night. It's, it's too high a price. The sacrifices. It's too high a price to pay. No, no. <laughs> can, can I sleep on in your embrace or something like that? It's No. Not less no, hard, no. I mean, it's I mean, just technically he can. <laughs> can I, I think I'll sleep well, in between you two so we don't do anything. You know, like kids do. Spoon? But oh, you are the Pastor, you look uh, troubled. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I'm, I'm taking some blanket, blankets and making it as comfortable as possible in one of the corners. Here's my idea. We, uh, you know where the Lord is going to be tomorrow. Yes. And you had your plan to uh, bedazzle him. Either way, one of you tells the Lord that you know where I am and uh, that I'm willing to turn myself into him. And uh, oh, you're not wanted by him. No, I'm wanted by the Republic. That and he, that he doesn't like. Yes. And if you tell him that you know where I am, perhaps he would be interested in uh, pulling me away from here to stop any further disruptions. He might do that, yeah. And just in case he doesn't add you to that equation, bringing you, just go to Ragnar and ask him to bring you. (coughs) All right, all right. We'll do that. We'll do it your way. But uh, first, during this evening, before we go to sleep, that is, I think, are we alone down in the cellar, by the way, or do we have guards? Uh, the you're not alone. There's uh, others resting there, but I mean, you can ask them to. Can you leave us for a bit? Of course, of course. I mean, it's not that we don't trust you. We just no, no, no. met in your armed people. No, no, no. I, we understand. It's, it's fine. You wanna, you wanna get it on? Don't. We're not gonna get it away. <laughs> yeah, sure. And then I, when they leave, I'm just, I pull a blanket over my head on the covers and say, Master, get in. Come join me underneath the blanket. Don't give them stupid innuendos. Oh, I do. But you, you really want to join me under the blankets. <sighs> Fine. Um, for reference, Lord Fire is the one who is kind of the face of the lords in the city and the one who is in charge of the rep- repellers, rep- repellents. The rapplers. 
Repeliers. Repeliers. that's the one. Uh, so Lord the Fire pellets. is the one who essentially went, we want to find Gethryn. Can someone bring him to us? For questioning. Well, we don't know where he is or how to get to him, so I think the Lord of Gold, that's actually where we want to go. If we're lucky, has yeah, he lucky. has some kind of uh, thing against the Lord of Fire and plans to overthrow him? And <laughs> well, perhaps not, but that is for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. For today. Before we go to sleep, I would like you to, beneath the blankets, the safe blankets that know, that every kid knows is totally safe from every harm, I start intoning a prayer. Very silently, but... I do it anyway. And hey, are you praying in there? No. Just whispering. Ah! I don't think these guys care about the rules. I am. Not, it's not your life on the line in that case. It is mine. So I'm not taking risk. I am, but I'm still doing the prayer. After looking that there's no one around. There's no one around. And underneath the covers, so it's muffled. I hopefully. Uh, after ten minutes of praying, and I make you pray alongside with me. You may say. Do you pray alongside with him? Fine. What purpose does this hold? Oh, you will see. I don't it's like, good for you. I don't like surprises anymore. It's good for your soul. Oh my god. Okay, I pray. Well, he's gone up to say that you actually have a soul now. He yeah. used to say you didn't. So. Yeah, we, we were trying to save it. Here. Okay. <laughs> Fine. No, after Fine. A, after a, a bit of time, you're, I think you're growing either bold or bored, I don't know. But... Uh, Essentially, this is a spell that I'm doing. It takes 10 minutes of me praying. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they need to, but hey, why not? Mm -hmm. It's good for them. Uh, it's called Prayer of Healing. It takes 10 minutes, and within 30 feet, I can designate six healings. Mm -hmm. Each of those uh, heals uh, 2d8 plus my Wisdom modifier. Oof. So, yeah, I think you're all healed up. Nice. Yeah, that would be. It's one yeah. on Asta and five for Gethryn or something. You don't need to roll anything. <coughs> it would be very unlikely that you would not yeah. go full health on that. So, uh, nice one. Yeah, it's a really, really good thing. When you the light of the Lord of oh. Light? Does it? Fills. Shine? No, no, no. It fills you up. Ah. Then I let go of your hands and say, yeah. Neat. Thanks. Yeah. And Thanks. as don't, it, as don't it fades, it. you feel strangely don't mention hollow. mention it. I mean that. Yeah. <laughs> What? You feel strangely hollow as the light fades, as if something amazing was happening and now it's just gone. Just plain old normal people again. Yes. I wrap myself into a blanket. A blanket burrito. <laughs> a blanket burrito. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I, I... I go to sleep wherever I fit. Yeah, yes, I place you're a soldier. <laughs> yeah, stone basically. <laughs> I place uh, some heavy shit. No, I no, underneath the a stone wall. <laughs> you are the barricade. Yes. <laughs> I. Uh, all right. The last thing I do before yeah. I go to sleep is I make sure the door is locked, barred, and some heavy shit in front of it and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, we're trying to hide, and then I cover Geffen up with some more blankets because. He's the one we don't want to see. Then I go to sleep somewhere close by one of them. Let's see. How big Who? is the room? No, it's all. It's fairly big. It's, I um, crawl up next to Astra as close and snugly as I can because she has this fire inside. She might be warm during the night. That's creepy. Keep yes. a distance. <laughs> I don't know what you mean about personal space. It's not a gnome little thing. Little, <laughs> little gnome, I will stab you with my horns. Gnomes literally sleep in litters. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like pigs <laughs> in a pile. And don't forget, naked. Yes. <laughs> of course. Are you naked now? No. Okay. It's cold. You're breaking known traditions for your friends. It's such a sacrifice. They should appreciate this. Yeah, and I paid for rooms. Double. You wake really up the it. next morning. Pull up your pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> okay, little sunshine, keep your distance. No, I want to get warm. Come on, we're friends. It's 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 no big. Don't make it any difficult. I mean, don't make it weird. <laughs> yes. Don't make it difficult. <laughs> hey, we're not touching, right? There's blankets between. It's okay. I'm not nude. This is a well, great the sacrifice. relief. 
<laughs> Isn't it though? <laughs> well, yeah. It, it, I guess it. I guess it could be worse. Oh, but God. you know. I'm so glad I'm s fast asleep by now. <laughs> I was just like, why? <laughs> I used to have feathered beds. <laughs> and just imagine, you have another room just for yourself. With a good bed and a lock lockable door. Maybe it's sneak out. <laughs> no, I promise. You two are I not promise. wanted. <laughs> That's the All thing. Right, and as you fade to sleep, the last thing I'll show you... You remember before I sleep is the <laughs> of, of Unger's warm body. <laughs> mm. uh, no, you fall asleep and you like get a, a good night's in, rest. Like a child in your arms. Yeah, like I'm not <laughs> holding my arms around you. <laughs> You're not facing him. Right? It's like <laughs> sleeping next face. to a larger naked cat. Like a naked mole rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you kinda look weird, gnome, so. Uh I think uh that's pretty much it for this session. Yeah. And <laughs> we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, and until next time, keep rolling. 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 Keep. You ruined it. It's just the most basic fucking god, thing to it. say and you